Good evening, mortals, and good evening, Church Mag, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Theology. I'm somebody new, so you're going to have to excuse me if you're not used to me, but hopefully we'll get used to each other. But uh, I'm, my name is Jeremy, and I run a YouTube channel called Immortal Jeremy, and I call my subscribers Immortals. What you see here is my house. I'm really new on the server. I just met these guys not too long ago. And an opportunity came up to do a Minecraft Theology episode. And I was like, I jumped on it. And I was like, yeah, that sounds really good. You know, that's why I joined these guys. I, w I wanted to uh, I wanted to dive into that side. Now that I have an audience, I want to try and reach them for the gospel. Uh, but like I said, I'm new. And I went and did this in my own time. I wanted to get at least started before... I did anything. Now let me check my inventory make sure I have what I need. I do not. I am terrible at this YouTube thing. So let's see. What do I want to take with me? Don't want to take any of that with me. Nor that. A lot of this is building stuff. And I will, I will still go and build later on. I am going to go build and I'll put that sign up later. It won't be a big deal. I'll take some sticks with me. And take some wood. Basic wood. I need to take the dirt with me for building blocks if I need it. Okay, I think I have everything. Do I have all my picks with me? I don't think I do. I need to make more if I can. Oh, here we go. Cobblestone. Okay. We're good. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get rolling in a second. I do have a co I do have a topic for today. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I do have a topic. I'm nervous, so please just forgive me on that. You know, oh, forgive me where I failed. Okay, ready to go now. Hopefully, the frames per second will be pretty smooth too. Uh, this PC is a little bit worse than my other one. And it is not at home right now. I've been using it at uh, church for work stuff. And just because it's a better PC, it's better suited for that. And I haven't really been recording PC stuff lately. So here's this. We're going to go down here and strip mine. I know that's like, oh no, you strip mining. But, you know, that's what I want to go do. Uh, that's what I need to do right now. And then we'll finish off with the episode with building a house later. But let's go ahead and get into the topic while we're getting down here. How can God use me? Now, I think it's important for Christians to ask that question of themselves. And personally, I go to war every time I sit behind this microphone. I try to add positivity in such a negative space that is YouTube. There's a lot of negativity around, you know, stuff like that. And there's there's a lot of negative channels out there who spread hate and spread just the worst things ever. But part of my passion is to have a positive place that I can eventually spread the gospel on. And I guess I'm starting that today. Um, recently, I've just been trying to build my audience to a, to a number where I would think, okay... Now I've got some people, so now I want to kind of shift my channel into this direction and have at least one series where I am doing kind of like a theology-based thing, kind of my belief sort of thing. So I mentioned there that I go to war every time I get behind the microphone, and I'm obviously doing it for something bigger than myself, but there's always a war inside of our heads as well that you guys just don't know about. So, it's important to stay on top of that for those of us who are Christians. It is very, 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 very important that we stay on track. So, how can God use us and how can we follow his lead? First of all, it's important to read your Bible. I, I can't, you know, I'm a little bit preaching to myself here too. I don't have a schedule, I guess, but I just do it whenever I think about it. And sometimes that's not very often, to be honest. But I do firmly believe that it is important to do that. Because if you don't, then how can God speak to you? Because that's his word. That's how he speaks to his people. So how can you follow God if you're not listening to him? So that's, that's one really important aspect of this. 
It is also important to go to church, you know, other guy and be around other godly people who are, you know, and we're all basically all in this together. There's no one person who is doing this right. So it's important to be around a large body of believers who who want to impact the world for Christ. And that's how you begin to figure out your calling. Once you've figured out your calling, or you maybe haven't yet, you have to take what you know outside of the church. We have to ask ourselves, if Jesus was around today, would he be sitting on a bar stool, or would he be sitting in a church pew? Now, I don't want you guys to misinterpret me with this. I simply mean that Jesus would be where there are hurting people, where there are people who need to hear the gospel. He would be there to, how do you say, um, ah, oh, come on. That's the only bad thing about playing on Mac. It's the little scroll wheel. The little scroll feature is so terrible. It annoys me so much. And I got off track there. Um, let's see. So, I, I believe Jesus would spend most of his time, not all of it, of course he would have time in church, but I believe he would spend most of his time in hospitals, bar rooms, you name it, funeral homes, nightclubs, etc. You insert random place here. His mission would be to grab the people and say, put down what you're doing and come and follow me. You know, he would be there with a mission in mind. Much like he did with Peter, uh, who was a fisherman, in Mark 129. He basically said, put down what you're doing and follow me. So, Jesus wasn't in a church pit when he said that. He wasn't in a pulpit. He wasn't in... Well, he, well, he did have sermons, and he did, he did them well, obviously. But he was not always there. He, he went places, and he took the gospel with him everywhere he went, which is very important for us as Christians to do. Okay, I need to, <laughs> I need to like, get into Minecraft mode here for a second. I need to light this place up before I get killed, because I don't have good armor on it at all yet. Okay. It's lit up, so now I can go over here and just start crapping stuff. Yay. My first irons on the server. Not first. I have a helmet and a pick, but you guys get the point. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So we have to ask ourselves, what does that mean for us? What does that mean for you? What does that mean for me? And for each of us, I think that's a different answer. I think that everybody has a different calling, so I can't really tell you what well, you know i'm not god i can't tell you what he wants you to do <sighs> diamonds okay let's see how we can get that wow i'm i'm so glad hey mr zombie we're, we're gonna be friends okay we're gonna be friends all right all right i'm gonna get i'm just gonna i'm just gonna block this off real quick hey buddy i would just say can't knock me into it and we're gonna put this up like that just Perfectly good lava being wasted, I know. Hey, buddy, can you hurt me? I don't think you can. Can I? All right. I'm going to continue with this while I'm farming Mr. Zombie here. So what, is, what God wants from you and what God wants from me can be two different things. You know, because number one, our skill sets and personalities are all different. So what I might be good at, you might not be good at, and vice versa. You might be really good at speaking. I am not. I am not a good speaker at all. So I have to really work at my commentary and I have to really polish it and edit it up more than the average person probably would. But obviously I could still be used that way, I feel like. But you might be really good at commentary. Maybe you're good enough at speaking where you can do it live, such as be a preacher or something. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That is a whole big ball of nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. More diamonds. Wow, there's actually a lot of diamonds. Okay. They didn't kill me, though, so that's always a plus. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm just really, just really scared right now. And I want my mommy. 
but that's perfectly fine. We're, we're, we're okay now. Okay. <laughs> I am a bit of a wimp, too, when it comes to, like, being scared at stuff. So. Oh. Oh, yeah, so many diamonds. Oh, my goodness. I am happy. I am so happy. Okay. Wow, I've never had this much luck at finding diamonds this quick. I'm going to block that off so I don't fall in. Okay, I'm going to face this way. Okay, I'm going to try to continue the commentary without getting sidetracked. Because I'm a little bit of a doof. I am. I'm a little bit of a doof, so sometimes I'll get sidetracked and... And, uh... You totally sidetracked with the commentary, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all okay. Maybe. Redstone that I will never use, probably. I can sell it to somebody on the server. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I am playing on the Church Mag server. I think I did mention that maybe at the beginning. Uh, maybe not very well, but just in case you missed it, I am playing on their server. Gold! Yes. This is a very productive mining trip. Oh my gosh, more diamonds! They have to, they have, they have to have like, like altered the spawn rate or something. Because just a crazy amount of diamonds. I, I, oh, I need to get back before I die. Because <laughs> it's a very, very real possibility. Hold on, I will, I will get back to our conversation in a second, but I'm too excited about what was happening in front of me to, 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 to concentrate on what I'm trying to say. Oh, I fell in a hole. Okay. I think we're clear as far as clear clarity goes here. Like mobs and whatnot, we're going to grab these really quick. I have to remember to come down here. This is really good. I'll come down here off camera as well and get a bunch of stuff. Uh, explore deeper and that kind of thing. Ooh, I'm just I'm just scared right now. I'm a scary little boy. Okay, how did I... Where, oh, I made a big mistake. Where did I come from? There it is. Okay. I don't feel okay. I don't feel as scared now. I'm going to go back. Now, earlier I mentioned the question, would Jesus be on a bar stool or would he be in a church pew most of the time and for some reason Christians including myself I'm not exempt to this are afraid of places such as bars and they don't they can't see that that could be an effective mission ground we see that as a place do not go stay away you know I think it's important that we get it in our minds that the place is itself is not sin. And I've got to be really careful with the way I, I approach this because there are probably a bunch of different beliefs among you people, even Christians. Let me just say that we shouldn't be afraid of these locations. I'm not giving you the go ahead to go out and get drunk. You know, that's not, that's not, that wouldn't be a very Christian thing to do. But I am saying don't be afraid when you find yourself in these places next to someone who does need to that does need to hear the gospel don't be afraid when the opportunity to spread the gospel arises even if it's in a place like that around some people who might be very scary now i mean it may be very scary for you guys i know personally in my walk with faith I am, I've been called to do something extremely crazy, and I'm going to follow it without any kind of, how do I say it, without just trusting, basically. I'm just going to have to learn to trust, because that's the only way that I'm going to ever be able to do that. Friends, this is important. This is very important, what I've been speaking to you today. You're here today, you're on this video for whatever reason. God wants you to hear this. The world needs to hear the gospel. And only some, on the only way some people will ever hear it is if we step out of our little bubble and we go out and we make disciples. Friends, that's just the truth. We have to be the church. We can't sit in our church pews and be the church. 
We have to go. For some people, that means going to Haiti. For some people, that's going to China, where they could possibly die or be imprisoned. For some people, that's going to Africa, to whatever country, you name it. For some people, that's mission trips. You know, for some people, that's doing something here in America that is usually frowned upon by Christians. Now, I am going to share with you guys what's on my heart to do. And it's on my heart to be in a Christian metal band. Now, many people, even in my own denomination, not going to say it, are against me. Maybe not totally. Maybe they don't know they're against me, but I know if I were to tell them, they'd be like, oh, that's devil's music. Luckily, that's a very small minority that thinks that way, but I know that there are people against me. So, that is me telling you guys that I have a prayer request. If you guys could just be praying for that. And I hope that this message has in some way impacted you because it's been on my heart for a while. I just haven't had a medium to talk about it. If you believe in the cross at all, go and make disciples. Like I said, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid of where you're going. Do not be afraid of what you've been called to do. You are called to go and make disciples. God will always be with you. Come. Lay down everything and follow me. And you will have life abundantly. I truly believe that. I have much more to say if these guys over here at Church Mag will let me back on. I have so much more to say on more topics that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> well, I did kind of allude to a few of them, but a few, my position on a few of them anyway. But for now, that is the end of the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. That's me saluting you, by the way. I can't, I don't have a face cam. But I normally do a salute, but that's my salute. There you go. Okay.